So fellows, I'm back with these two awesome machetes from Cold Steel. And you can easily recognize these machetes are meant to be used as uh, weapons more than tools. So these are two nice examples of a fighting machete. Now this is the Cold Steel Gladius machete. Most of you probably will know the Gladius machete. And uh, it has got an 18 inch uh, blade, the very cool uh, synthetic material handle. And this here, this is a Cold Steel Spare Point Machete. Also 18 inch blade. What both have in common is the rather sharp and narrow points. Uh, that's uh, a um, characteristic that clearly indicates their uh, thrusting capability. Now, let's see what they both have in common and also what distinguishes them. Cold steel. Let's see some cutting with a Gladius machete. Yeah, quite a smooth and fine cut. Next with the Gladius. Easy like this. Another cut with the Gladius. Okay. The spare point machete. I guess it will work as fine as well. Spare point machete. Yeah, just as I imagined. Spare point machete with a smooth cut as well. Yeah, now that's really fun. It cuts through like through butter. So easy. Another cut with a spare point. Whoa. Awesome. Oh here, notice the little metal skull. That's cool. Many of you probably have read about this uh, Cold Steel Gladius Machete and uh, it's an homage to the ancient Roman Gladius sword. Well, this is a machete, not a sword, but it has got the same cool features. It has got an 18 inch blade and a very cool grip with this round pommel. It's a hard synthetic plastic material and you can grip it rather uh, comfortably. You see, your four fingers fit here and it's really a good gripping quality. Yeah? 
I think the pommel is hard material. You could probably smash. I guess you won't smash windows with this, but uh, it's good to give some blows. Now this machete here is the meanwhile discontinued 18 inch spare point machete. The handle is typical uh, machete grip. It's a more of a rubber material. Also a very narrow needle sharp point. Handles well. Now let's cut some hanging bottles. That's really fun. Cold steel Gladius Machetti. Goes through like through butter. Well, buddies, when considering the capability of the Gladius Machetti as a filing machete, we should take into account not only the chopping ability, but also, of course, the thrusting ability. Because that's, in fact, what this blade is designed for, for thrusts. And uh, if you happen to see the DVDs from uh, James A. Keating. He really lays a stress on the factor uh, thrust and cut. Thrust and cut. So let's try some thrusting. Yeah. Like expected. It goes right in. Cold steel Gladius. Now, time for the spare point machete as well. Yeah! Easy like this. Just like before with the Gladius machete, also for the spare point machete, let's check out the thrusting ability. Yeah. Goes in like butter as well. And you noticed the grip was uh, spilled with water and even when wet the gripping quality of this rubber grip is really great even with wet hands fast in hand won't fly out of the hand
it's the last bottle for today. Today's last bottle for the spare point machete. Cold steel. Both of the cold steel machetes have nice Cordura sheath that have these uh, plastic parts at their bottom where the tip is located so uh, it prevents your leg from being uh, stabbed. That's an important factor because they have these needle sharp points. And uh, both are kept securely. You see, they don't fall off. So very simple, but uh, Nice Cordura sheath, very cool. Both have uh, belt loops. Yeah, good sheath. So friends, here this spare point machete is manufactured in China, which is stamped here, China, and on the other side the cold steel logo. Here's a metal skull. And uh, the Gladius machete is uh, made in uh, South Africa. It's here, cold steel South Africa. And nothing on the other side of the blade. You see, the grip of the Gladius machete is more massive and uh, doesn't have any guard, but I can imagine that if um, an opponent blade might come in, it might be at least stopped here for a little bit. Yeah? It's a classic design. The ancient Romans, they certainly knew their business. Cold steel, Gladius machete. Well, buddies, cold steel has produced quite a range of different, very interesting machete designs. I have here some old cold steel catalogs. If we look at the catalog of the year 2008 at their machetes. We can see here uh, very interesting designs like the Sax machete and uh, here is the Bowie machete, here is the long Bowie and here is the long spare point machete. Catalog 2008 and in the year 2009, they uh, um, changed their machete uh, lineup, and we have now here um, the heavy machete, the bolo machete, and uh, yeah, that's uh, something different compared to the year 2008. And then, if we look at the 2011 catalog. That's the first time that the um, Gladius machete is mentioned in the 2011 catalog. Yeah, and here I have a 2013 catalog. There we have um, uh, machetes like the Barong machete or the Copis machete. So quite some interesting stuff over the years. So friends, 
It's time to have some final conclusion and to summarize things up. Both of these cold steel machetes are very fine examples for fighting machetes. And uh, during the past years, I had more experience with longer blades of 90 or 100 centimeters in length. But uh, being out in the woods and uh, doing some water bottle cutting with these short blades really is fun. And uh, the spare point machete as well as the gladius machete both performed uh, really fine in thrusting. And uh, I think that the gladius even performed a little bit better in thrusting. And I guess that's due to the fact that the point of the gladius is uh, even a little bit more narrow and needle sharp than the spare point. And also, when it came to chopping the bottles, uh, the spare point machete did well. The Gladius was even slightly better. And I think that's due to the very special edge geometry of the Gladius. So fellows, as always, have a nice day.